Hey, this is my video about my favourite concert. Hopefully, if it all goes to plan, you should get a video every single day this week if we can all upload ours. Fingers crossed it works this time. If anyone knows me, they'll know I'm quite indecisive and I can actually pick my favourite concert. So I've kind of cheated a bit. And it's, um, there's my favourite concert and then there's like my two favourite shows, which they're both linked together and obviously because they're not a concert because they weren't uh, music so I thought it would be okay to talk about both. My favourite concert was on the 26th of March 2012 and that was Matt Cardle. I went to this concert with my friend Laura. I've been looking forward to this day for like so long because I've liked Matt Cardle like the minute he stepped on X Factor. I've been a fan of him for about two years so to finally see him live was like amazing. Before the show we waited at the stage door to try and meet him because this was, I was not leaving without meeting this man. I was so determined to meet him because I didn't know, with people that are in X Factor they seem to tend to come to Plymouth on their first tour and never come back again so I thought this could have like been my only chance but um, when he came his manager was like oh um, he's running a bit late so um, he can only sign stuff which I was a bit gutted about because I really did want a picture but he signed something of mine and um, I gave him this letter which basically me just pouring my heart out to him which is a bit awkward but you know um, yeah I gave him this letter and I kind of spoke to him for a second and he was like oh yeah thanks babe and stuff and looked me in the eye and I was just like dead and he was really lovely even though I only got to speak to him quickly he was really nice and I was so happy that I finally got to meet him and he actually like had acknowledged who I was so that was like dream come true and then we went into the concert um, we were actually sat because we bought our tickets on the pre-sale we were sat in the third row right in the middle so it was a really good view and I have three favourite moments from that concert the first one was when he sang first time ever I saw your face because um, he sang that on X Factor and he, he, he was so flawless and to hear it live, I was like so emotional. I was like crying so much. I was just like, ah. The song's got a lot of personal meaning to him as well. And you could see that he was getting like all choked up and stuff and he looked so upset. And I was just like, oh my God. My second favorite moment was um, when during Starlight, which is, if you know Matt Cardle, he doesn't really have very like big energetic let's dance around sort of songs. Like Starlight is the closest sort of like jumpy around kind of song that he has. And, um, because obviously I was in the third row but no one was stood up in front of me loads of people stood up behind me but no one was stood up in front of me so I was like stood up and so was Laura and um, we were just like dancing around and that and um, and then he like looked over in our direction and I know people were like oh my god he smiled at me he smiled at me but literally I had eye contact and he was smiling at me for about five seconds I was like oh my god oh my god like about to pass out and the really annoying thing is is that every song that he sang that night is on YouTube apart from that one I can't find it so if anyone's watching this and went and saw Matt Cardle in Plymouth and recorded Starlight I would really appreciate it if you uploaded your video to YouTube so I could cry over it and then my other favourite part of the night was um, when he sang When We Collide which was his winner's song of X Factor because you could hear every single person in the room singing along and I love it when that happens it's like my favourite part of concerts when like the whole audience are in with it we actually left early because because his manager said that he would come out and get pictures after the show so uh, me and my friend actually left early and we left halfway through his last song Run For Your Life because I like Run For Your Life but it's like my least favourite song by him and it was quite ironic because we were like running through um, back through pavilions back through the arena like while he was singing Run For Your Life and we were just there like <laughs> and we were like running like hell to the stage door and we were like right at the stage door like at the barrier and obviously once everyone else came out I got like so packed towards the back but um yeah I kind of I got in this argument with my mum because I was waiting there late and she made me leave and like he came out like five minutes after I left which was really gutting but I did at least I got to meet him once that was the main thing I got to meet him I just really really would like a picture with him and hopefully one day it will happen fingers crossed merch wise I bought this t-shirt which I'm wearing now and it also has the dates in the back um, Plymouth is towards the bottom because I think it's fair from the bottom or something because um, we are right near the end of the tour it's definitely one of my favourite pieces of match I've ever bought 
So that was my favourite concert. The next one I'm about to say is not a concert, it's a show. And it's actually two shows, but they're both connected to each other. One was on the 17th of August 2012, and the other one was on the 23rd of August 2012. And that was when I got to see Michael McIntyre. I have been a huge fan of Michael McIntyre for so many years. Yeah, so when me and Cassie found out that he was coming to Plymouth like on his warm-up gigs, we were like, oh my god, because ever since me and Cassie got back in contact, we've always said we wanted to go see Michael. And we bought our tickets, like, I think it was like June 2011, so we had to wait over a year to actually see him. <laughs> But it was it was definitely worth the wait. But I think waiting the year as well made it made us like even more excited for it. He was also down in Plymouth for the whole week, so from Tuesday to Sunday. And because we were such big fans, we decided to go meet him every single day, which might seem a bit stalkerish to you, but we don't really care. And um, yeah, so we went down every single day, and um, we really got to know him. And on the Friday, we actually went to see him. Um, because all week he was like, you are coming to the show, aren't you? And we were like, yeah, yeah, we are, we're not coming till Friday. He was like, well, then why are you here already? <laughs> and then I remember um, one day he said to us, he was like, are you sure it's going to be worth the wait? And we were like, oh, yeah, of course it's going to be worth the wait. And um, on the Friday was actually the day he agreed to adopt us, because the day before he was like, don't you have homes? And we were like, no, we don't. And on... <laughs> On the Friday before we seen him, we actually brought a banner with us and it said, um, before you ask, no, we don't have homes, and in brackets, please adopt us. And he read it, laughed, and was like, yes, yes, get in the car. So we were like, yeah, I've been adopted by Michael McIntyre. And then obviously we went in to see the show, which I think made it even more special because we'd already met him a few times and like spoke to him and he knew who we were. So it was like even more special to finally see him. It was so hilarious. Like, we were both, like, laughing so hard, and there was one bit, he told this joke about Tom Daly, and I didn't expect it to come, and it literally asked Cassie, I literally just spat everywhere, and I was, like, had tears rolling down my face, and it was so funny, and he was definitely worth, like, waiting, like, over a year to see. The rest of the week we went to see him still, like, to meet him, and on the Sunday, it was his last day, and, um, he was like, oh, um, because this his because that was still his warm-up gigs and then his actual tour started on um the following week in cardiff and he joked around and was like oh why don't you just come to cardiff with me and me and cassie were like well we would if we could but like we couldn't really afford it to be honest so he was like i'll sort you out tickets and me and cassie were like no his manager gave cassie his email and um yeah and we emailed him and then he sorted us out tickets and that was on the 23rd of august and we went to cardiff and it was a very interesting trip <laughs> not gonna lie the only way cassie's mum could take us is if she went to birmingham first to drop off on her job and um so we went to birmingham first then to cardiff so like a three hour trip turned into a six hour trip and we were in this van because it was a delivery job and it let, let's just say it was very cramped in this van and obviously me and Cassie were both really hyper about seeing my car again. And it was literally like the funniest car journey or van journey that I've ever had in my life. Yeah, and when we got into Wales, we um, decided to play spot the Michael McIntyre jokes because there's a lot of jokes he does tell about Wales. And yeah, let's just say it almost resulted in Cassie's mum causing a car crash, which is very interesting. And because of this whole time, we wanted to go meet him before the show, but it was getting later and later and later. By the time we got into Wales, it was about seven o'clock and the show started at eight o'clock so we were all like oh we're not gonna get to meet him and then i found out on twitter that he'd already arrived so we were a bit gutted about that and then um when we got there we couldn't find the car park for the arena and then when we finally got to the car park it was like one of those tiny ones and it was literally we because all the levels were full so we were just going round and round and round and round. then we found a car space and then we did, couldn't find a lift so we had to run down about 20 flights of stairs and bearing in mind this is at like 10 to 8 ish i think 5 to 8 at this point when we were running over to the arena it started raining and um yeah and i almost fell flat on my face and then we went in the arena and we couldn't believe we were there because like it felt better than the first time because we were actually there because michael wanted us there he actually got out of his way to get us tickets so we could go and that's really quite special, like, to feel that, like, the person you're about to watch actually wants you, yourself, like, to be there. To be honest, I think it was funnier the second time. Me and Cassie just kept looking at each other because we knew when jokes were coming up, so we just kept looking at each other and trying not to recite the jokes. So 
even though we've had jokes before, it kind of felt like you were in on it, whereas no one else was, so it kind of did make it funnier. Yeah, and unfortunately we didn't get to meet him afterwards, which was a bit gutting as well. We really did want to thank him for the tickets because we were so grateful for him like to give us tickets. But we had met him like six times before, which was really good, and he knew who we were. But um, I managed to speak to someone on Twitter who was going to Cardiff the rest of the week and she spoke to Michael for us and thanked him for us and he said it's it's fine and like sends his love to us and stuff. So at least he knows like himself that we are really grateful for the, t the tickets. And it was especially gutting because the last thing he ever said to us was see you in Cardiff. And we obviously we saw him in Cardiff but he didn't see us. Yeah but I did get this, this was a programme and it was really cheap for a programme. It was like £6. And I've already read it like loads of times and some, I'm not gonna lie, some of the pictures in this are hilarious. And on our way home from Cardiff, we were in McDonald's at like 1am in the morning and I decided to impersonate some of these because I was, I don't even know what I was thinking. I was just kind of all over the place and um, really tired. And at the time it seemed really hilarious to me and Kirsty. So um, yeah, I think I've rambled on for too long about this. I literally just could not be pick between two because both Matt Cardo and Michael McIntyre were amazing for different reasons to be honest. So um, yeah that was my favourite concert and my favourite show. Um, enjoy the rest of the videos this week and hopefully I'll see you soon.